sir, after podcasting. Yep, yep. Have you seen that video where it's like what girls are at when they go out to eat and they go out to eat? Come on. I feel like I'm at the quinceañera right now with oh the lady. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> the camera's like, oh my god, we're here. Oh my god. <laughs> you see the lady that's like standing like, 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 She gets going, she's just like... <laughs> the camera guy's like... <laughs> <laughs> Like taking the center of the mesa and you're like, oh, this is, this is the center of the Too far. Good. Oh, just because we're girls. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Good Vibes Only. If you're negative, get the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> now, welcome back to another podcast, Atos of Light Podcast, the most authentic, most organic podcast out here. So let's give it up real quick. <laughs> I know she's nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Miss Amy, owner of Poder brand. If you haven't heard, you're going to body hear it and see it because TikTok went viral, right? It TikTok's did, going yeah. viral. So I do want to give it up for Amy and her team in the back. Let's go. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm um, good. I'm just a little nervous. A little nervous? A little bit, yeah. Are you social media friendly? Like you like to be on the camera or anything like that? Yeah, like I feel like with social media, it's like when I started at first, I was like super like nervous and like anxious but then you know as like time went on I was like you know what I just need to get out of it and just be confident with myself and being behind the camera so it's like now I'm that person where I go to the gym just like I'm gonna bring my tripod like (laughs) oh let me I forgot to introduce Miss Angela (laughs) co-hosting today not you forgetting about your team I know there's a little animosity between me and my team right now yeah we are but (laughs) for the first time drop your comments if you guys like a co-host Miss Angela Back in the house. Yeah. Back again. Okay, so let's bring. Let, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna put it up now. So you said you and your team. Is there discussions, arguments, anything like that? Um, from the it mostly just happened. So my boyfriend, he's the graphic designer for Poder, and so sometimes you know I'll draw up a design, and he's like, "Well, I don't know if that looks right," you know, and I'm just like, "Like, Geo, like, come on, like, it does look right." Damn, and then he's first like, "No, no, basis. no," he's like, "You don't understand, like, this and this and that," and I'm just like. So it'll just be, like, discussions like that, but it'll never, like, you know, we never, like, mix, like, business with, like, our own relationship because we are, like, dating. So oh, so there's a balance. Yeah. Is it hard because you call them by your first name? <laughs> is that <laughs> no, when you're, like, is that when, like, when you're mad, you go, like, you call, you got to call him by his first yeah, name? Yeah, well, I'm Mexican, you know? I gotta be, I'm going to be like, Gio. <laughs> That's he's like, know he's like real. damn. You know, like, with your parents, they're like, Amy, or, like, you know, like, they'll call you by, like, your first middle and name. Angela, you're, you're not really, uh... The one to talk. No, you are. You're a feisty enchilada. She from the streets. She from the streets of Ventura. Oxnard. Oh, Oxnard, Oxnard. But, um, all right, so let's start from the beginning. How did Poder come about? Um, So, basically, like, I always wanted to start a brand, and I never, like, knew what it is that I wanted. Like, at first it kind of started of, like, oh, like, maybe I want to do, like, leggings and, like, you know, sports bras, but then I was like, well, I'd never really wear sports bras to the gym, you know, like, I wanted to do something that I knew I was always going to be wearing, and then that dream kind of ended, and then I was like, well, why don't I do workout guides, and I was like, I was like, no, like, I can't do that, you know, like, I don't really, like, want to be training people, or, like, you know, have people buy my workout guides, and then finally, like, it was, like, a while, and this is, like, last year in December, I was, like, just sitting on the couch, and then I was like, I was like, well, like, what can I do? Like, I just want to do something, you know? Like, I just know that I want to start something, but I don't know what. And I was scrolling through TikTok, and I came across this guy, and he was just like, oh, like, you just need to start. Like, whatever it is you want to do, like, just do it, you know? Like, don't let fear hold you back. And I just kind of sat there, like, thinking, 
and then I was like, what? Like, I want to do something, you know? Like, I know that I'm, like, meant to, like, start something. Like, I just always wanted to start a brand. Yeah. And then I was like, well, what do I like? And then I was like, okay, I love oversized tees, you know? Like, gym rats, they call it, like, pump covers. So I was like, I love wearing pump covers. And then I was just like, I was like, but what can I name it? And then finally, like, power came to my mind. But I was like, I don't want to just call it power, you know? Like, I want something that has, like, meaning. And then I started thinking of people that inspire me, and, like, my mom came to my mind. And, you know, my mom, like, she's always been, like, my day one, you know, rooting for me from the start. And so I used to be overweight, and when I started my fitness journey, she'd always tell me, tú tienes el poder para cambiar, like, tú puedes, you know, and, like, she'd always tell me that. And I was like, poder. I was like, and then, like, my boyfriend was, like, sleeping, and I was like, Gio, I was like, poder. And then, like, he was just like, what? And then I was like, that's what we can call it. I was like, my brand, I was like, poder. And then I was like, like, the meaning behind it, you know, like, poder, like, my mom, like, she's the biggest inspiration, you know, like, yeah. and that's how it came to be. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying to sleep, and then, boom, she was like, wake <laughs> up, wake up. <laughs> oh, that's tight. That's really cool. <laughs> Gio was like. <laughs> I know, he was like. I was like, wake up. I was like, I just got an idea. So for someone that has like that doubt to start a dream or find it, is there's a process, right? Like you you had to sit a little bit to like, all right, what is it? What is it? Until yeah. it just it just came. Once you did that, did you jump right to it? Or was it a process to it? So no, there was for sure a process. Sorry, did I cut you off? Kind of. It's Sorry. okay. <laughs> People come here all the time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, so the reason, and I was thinking about this uh, this week, today specifically too, because when someone goes to the gym and you're dedicated, you love the gym, like we always have that aspiration, like, yo, I want to start a brand. I want to I want to have a brand. I want to have a gym. I want to get sponsored. I want to do this, this, this. But there's no action behind it because we don't know where to start. We come up with the name, but then where do we go from there? For you, what did that look like? So, same thing. Like, I still had my doubts, you know. Like, when I told him, I was, like, like you know, because Gio is, like, another person who has, like, supported me, like, from the beginning. You know, we've been dating for almost four years. So, it's, like, every single time, you know, he's been there. And, like, when I told him, he's, like, well, I got you. He's, like, I can find us vendors online, this and that. And I was, like, okay. And I was, like, and I was nervous, you know, because, yeah, same thing. You know, it's, like, you have that kind of, like, fear and like doubt of like failing but I feel like with anything it's like you can't let that hold you back you know you just kind of have to push past that and keep going so it's like same thing you know like at the gym you know where it's like let's say I'm going for a PR and I'm just like I doubt myself and I'm just like no I can't do that it's like well how do you know you can't do it yeah. if you you know don't try so I feel Facts. like that's like the same thing with my brand you know like I was like I just need to give it a go and if it fails then you know, it fails, but yeah. like I'm never gonna know if I don't attempt it. How old are you? Uh, 23, 24 in October. <laughs> in October, what day? Seven. Seven. Oh, you're not a Scorpio then. Libra sign. Libra. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm a Scorpio. We bad. <laughs> we bad. But I mean, again, and I'm gonna put this on camera because. We're sitting here with you because, one, your movement is going crazy, and we wanted to know. Two, because Angela, again, mi amiga, <laughs> que me da dolor de cabeza every single time. Sometimes. But it, it, it's, um, we're all going through, like, our own doubt. We all, we always fight our own demons. Yeah. Sometimes they get the best of us, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. For a bit. For a bit? For a little bit. Longer than, than usual? Nah, mm. Never. No? No. You think there's no, like, exact time frame or what? I like to tell myself, you know, I like to use a five-minute rule. You ever heard it? You guys ever no. heard it? It's not going to matter in five years. If you don't spend more than five minutes thinking about it. Damn. I like that. Okay. I like that. I like that. I don't spend any more five minutes and, like, no more five minutes crying. So what if you spend more than five minutes then? It happens. It's inevitable. You know, five minutes. Give myself a day. So because I, I'm sitting with two... Pretty badass woman, pretty badass. I'm sure you guys, <laughs> you, you guys, you guys hold your own. To start something and become a business owner or do something in the social media industry, like, do you feel it's hard to step foot into that platform and like hold your your ground and what you believe in and stuff? Sometimes, yeah, it can be, you know, because I feel like 
you know, sometimes you have those days where it's like you're not as confident or, you know, you see other people making, you know, moves like yeah. bigger than you are or like they're moving at a quicker pace. But then like you have to kind of just reevaluate and be like, well, like I'm still doing it, you know, like and everyone moves, you know, at a different pace. So it's like even if you see, you know, people already have like like, you know, followers shouldn't matter. But it's like you see like, you know, their business is like blowing up, then, you know, you shouldn't be like, oh, like, you know. How would I phrase that? Like, you can cuss on this. I'm just, yeah. to, I'm just letting you know you can cuss. Okay, you okay. can. You <laughs> say, I know, she's like, like, let it out, let it out. Let she's it out. like, damn, I've been waiting for this now. <laughs> no, I'm like, now I lost my train of thought. But yes, like, you shouldn't like, like, you should move at your own pace, basically. Thanks. So I have a question. As a girl, yeah, I think we get a lot more pressure on social media. You know, different standards. Yeah. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like because you were a girl, you kind of were either harder on yourself or you, like, kind of let comments or anything negative get to you? And, like, if you have, how'd you get over it? Yeah, um, especially, like, on my main page, you know, because I post there, like, about, like, you know, gym and, like, fitness and all of that. So it's, like, sometimes, you know, I'll post my progress or, like, people are, like, oh, like, you still look the same. And I'm just, like, I'm, like, okay. Perros. Like, all right. Perros. Perros. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, like, be like that. But, you know, I, like, I talk to my boyfriend first or, like, I'll go to my mom and I'm going to be, like, what do I even do? And I'm just, like, oh, I'm just not even going to reply to it. And then they're, like, delete it. And I'm just, like, yeah, like, because, you know, it's not worth the time of day, you know. Like, most of these people are, like, if you're going to comment that, it's most likely that you're unhappy with yourself, you know. And it's, like, there's no need, you know, to be, like, mean online especially. It's, like, you mm -hmm. know, like, because you're being vulnerable online and it's, like, you should always, like, try to uplift others. Yeah, for sure. So there's... Any girls that are younger than us, I'm 21, so any 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds who are on social media, what piece of advice would you give them to, for them to be able to kind of go through those moments and get past them? So, like, when you see, like, if you were to get, like, a negative comment or just anything in general, you know, like, I would say just ignore it, you know, just keep doing you. And, like, if you're, like, I know, like, sometimes you have, again, like, those moments where you're not confident. It's, like, just you know, try to move past that and just remember that, you know, like, again, you know, people who comment mean things are most like likely, like, unhappy with themselves. So it's, like, as long as, like, you're happy, like, you, you love what you're doing, like, keep doing it. You have to. Yeah. If, if you fall into entertaining other people and trying to fight back and forth, right, you can't make everybody understand your situation yeah. or your vision because I'm sure there are sacrifices that individually here in this room – We've all had to make in order to sit in this room, yeah. right? And whatever the case is, you could be working wherever you work at, but there are sacrifices we all have to make. And she's going to be laughing because we just talked about this, but we can be going through hell, but if there's work to be done, then you have to go to work. You have to go get that done because if you sit at home and you're just in your feelings, then you're letting whoever – was putting you in that situation when I'm not going to let anybody have that power on me because you can make me feel like shit, tell me this, tell me that. Yo, I'm going to get up and I got to go to work because I got to get better. These dreams do not happen by sleeping in because I am sad, depressed, whatever it is. I may cry on the way to work. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still going to work, though. <laughs> <laughs> Crying and just playing, playing Bad Bunny. Ah. <laughs> but so... Taking a little bit back, I know we're getting a little off track, but once you made the whole, took the name, found it out, you went to your next step, what struggles did you encounter in building this this brand? For sure, like, um, like what, how we were going to do it, you know, because I'm, like, super thankful, again, you know, for my boyfriend and their family because they let us, you know, use their garage so that was, like, wow, like, you know, getting all of this stuff. And, like, you know, when it started, of course, it came out of, like, my own money. So it's, like, I work at um, Honda Center, the, the stadium, and I work as, like, a PE coach. So, you know, like, doing that, all that was, like, well, you know, we got to get, like, the heat press. We got to get these transfers. We got to get these blanks. And just, like, it, it's a lot, you know, like, a learning process. So, like, it was, like, sometimes it was hard, you know, because I'm just, like, I don't even know how to do this. What if we don't do it right, you know, all of this? Yeah. I'm just, like, what if I go to jail for tax fraud? I don't know. Like, what's going to happen, you know? Like <laughs> Me? When my parents had me fill out my FAFSA the first year. <laughs> <laughs> IRS. We're not talking about anything. Angela, run. <laughs> 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 That's 
Oh, it's <laughs> like, did you guys' parents ever have you, like, translate something when you were, like, 10? And it was, like, a carta or something. <laughs> yeah, mom. Yeah. And it's, like, no sé. Like. But I think that's, like, our Hispanic parents. Like, obviously, maybe the the English is, like, a little limited. And we could be five years old and, ¿qué dice ahí? <laughs> well, you can't even fucking read yet. I know. They're, like, ¿qué no hablas inglés? And I'm just, like, yeah, but. They want you to fucking go get the lawnmower at five years old. <laughs> she just takes you with it. But so you did all that. Are right now? Are you still working your other jobs? Yes. So with Honda Center, like that one, it's just like we just worked like concerts mainly and like the hockey season. But for that one, you know, since Poder is like growing more, I think I'm still gonna stick to it. You know, and then like with the P job, like I love working with kids, so I feel like it's just fun. And like I'm still in school as well, so. Just trying to. She's a yeah, that's queen. Out. You're a hustler. <laughs> an entrepreneur queen. You like to see it. My guy right there is he? Does he work there too? Yeah, he works at Honda Center. Is that what you guys met? No, we met. Oh. We met at H and M, and then after that, we went to Honda Center. <laughs> oh. That's true love. <laughs> love at first sight. Do we believe in that? Well, it wasn't love at first sight for me. He was in love with me, actually. <laughs> He's like, what? I was like, don't sorry, talk bro. to me, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I'm doing me. this to you. Gracias, está chiviando. He's just like, that's my girl right there. <laughs> love at first sight. Angela, you believe in that? Oh, Way to put me on the spot. Love at first sight. <laughs> I think it happens. Personally, I don't think I've ever seen that. I, I've never experienced it. Yeah. But I think for some people it might happen. But I feel like, I don't know, love at first sight has to be like pure physical like attraction. Because you don't know the person. Is it like, uh, what, what's that movie, Grown Ups? The guy, the lifeguard is super hot, and then oh. it comes up, <laughs> and his voice is all squeaky. I mean, it could happen. It could happen, definitely. I think it does, but. Okay, okay. I haven't experienced it yet, but. Me either. Oh, I'm what? Actually, it for you. Um, oh, she's manifesting it. I like that for you. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's going to turn around and start crying. It's okay, Angela. Yes. So, well, that is growing. You guys are on TikTok. How how many followers already? Like twenty three point three k, I think. Posting how much? How how many times a day? Uh, like probably like two or like three times a week. We try, you know, just because it kind of like gets a little bit more like difficult, you know, because I have to balance the bullet account. I have to balance my personal account. I have to balance the bullet like Instagram and all of that. But you know, we try. Yeah. All you can do is try. Yeah. But you're trying is. A lot more than somebody else wishing they can do it. Because it does become a lot. Yeah. Social media does become Agreed. a lot. <laughs> For right? <sure>. Absolutely. <laughs> My amiga here disconnected her Instagram because it became a lot. Temporarily. Temporarily. She's back up. But it happens. But like that's it like for everybody watching, right? When when they're listening in, they're looking for answers. And when they look at a brand or a social media platform and to learn how we did it. And we explain exactly how we're doing it. They're just like, damn, how do you do it? Yeah. It's a balance. I don't believe in the balance because something's going to go up, the other shit's going to come down. Something may be going good, the other thing's going to just take a plummet. For you to balance, how do you balance that? Everything you're doing, your relationship, your jobs, your business, and then you. So first thing, like, I never mix, like, business and our relationship you know, because, like, in the beginning, yeah, you know, we'd have that where I was, like, we'd go, like, days without, like, going on a date or something. And I'd be, like, hold on, hold on. Like, we need to, you know, we need to have time for ourselves, you know, to, like, go out, you know. Because, like, when we'd go out, we'd just be, like, talking about poder or, like, this and that. And I'm just, like, no, 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 no. Like, you know, business needs to stay where, like, business is, you know. And then our relationship. As for, you, for me, you know, like, I have those days. I feel like for me, like, my, like, me time is going to the gym. Like, I'm just like, yes, like, this is where I, like, just get to focus, like, on myself, you know, working on my gains and doing all of that. And then, you know, coming home, making my protein shake, all of that, you know, my little, like, morning routine, having that. So let me stop you there. Yeah. As cliche as that sounds, right? When we say, oh, we go to the gym because it's, it's a stress reliever. Yeah. What's the emotional thing that you go through when you go to the gym? Because I I really think for me, as much (laughs) as I'm lazy in the gym and Dylan (laughs) knows it right now. Because I was telling one of my guys, he was like, damn, bro, like, we live, whatever. I was like, bro, but you don't want to work out with me right now. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, bro, I'm that dude. Like, I'll do my main lift, a couple accessories, and then I'm just like, yo, let's go to a sauna. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think we worked out last Friday, 
And we did a couple exercises. We benched. We did our thing. And then, just, yo, want to go eat it? <laughs> so we started walking. And then all of a sudden, I was like, cardio? Nah, nah. I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go eat. He's like, we're almost. And then he was like, what's 10 minutes? It's like, damn. It's correct. What is 10 yeah. minutes? But to go back, when we go to the gym, when I go to the gym, I'm allowed to feel whatever I want in there. I put my music. I may cry. Literally. I've cried I don't know how many times in the gym. And for me, it's like feeling the pressure of the weight or feeling all that on me. I take it metaphorically, and I'm like, damn, this is the pressure of everything I got. If I'm benching, if I'm squatting, if I'm deadlifting, if I don't get this shit up, then I let it win. So I put my tens on, and I picked it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I use that as like, all right, put the weight on me. If I don't do this, then I'm letting it win. Put it up. All right, cool. This is my therapy. This is my, like, right now, this is my therapy. You know, like, oh, therapy sessions, pay this. Ah, it's my therapy. I could talk about everything I just went through this week, and I could talk about it here. But for you, what's your emotional attachment for the gym? Like, what's what goes through your head when you're having a shit day where maybe nothing is going correctly? When you get to the gym, what is your thought process? Just getting in there, getting my workout, and, like, I feel like, you know, I just, like, leave all my problems, like, at the door. Like, I go in there, and I'm just, like, focus on my workout, you know, whatever is going on in my life, you know, like, it shouldn't matter here, because, you know, like, this is, like, a me time, you know, like, I'm yeah. working on myself, doing this for me, you know, because, like, the gym is life <laughs> for me, basically. I love the as gym. As cliche as it sounds, right? I know, I'm sorry, I know no, it no. does, but, like, it really is, you know, the gym has gotten me through, like, tough times, and, like, What did it know, get you through? Well, like, you know, like. I want to start crying already. <laughs> My, like, you know, like, personal growth, you know, I feel like without, like, that gym, like, I feel like I wouldn't be where I am, you know, because, like, at the gym, you know, like, I started, you know, like, my fitness account, you know, before, like, now it's just, like, a personal account, well, kind of, no, it's still fitness, yeah like, my Instagram, but, you know, like, without fitness, like, you know, well, that wouldn't have happened, you know, I would have never probably have, have had that idea, like, yeah, maybe I would have, like, wanted to start a brand, but I don't know if it would have been, like, Bullet or even a gym brand. Were you, like, it wouldn't have been where you're at right now with yeah. how far you guys are right now. Yeah. When you walk into the gym, how do you feel? Me? You put on your Norteñas and you're just like. Oh, dear. Honestly, don't look no at me. In the, when I'm at the gym, don't look at me because I'd be dancing like that sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> no, no, I see no, but, like, a veces I forget I'm at the gym and I'm like, shit, what if people are watching? But then everybody's dancing, but when I, I don't know, when I step into the gym. For me, it's bad bunny Norteñas busting. So we got. But what's your men like mentality? Like so, not the mentality. What is like your emotional thought? Like when you get in there, again, we're all having a shit day, mm -hmm. and when we go to the gym, I, there's diff I think there's there has to be there's different levels. There is because you're training for a comp, and gym is your fucking breadwinner, and then there's people like myself that go in there just because. Maintain sane and para ir a chat party todavía. Yeah. Stay a little healthy. It's about balance. It's balance. And I've seen those TikToks where it's like me during the week and they're all fit. With I their actually, good, I posted their good it. healthy uh, meals and everything on the weekend. It's like I, them dancing. I, it's about balance. I posted a TikTok like that. Like, mi mamá dice con mi hijo va al gimnasio. And then boom, <laughs> it's <laughs> uh, us out. But um, I think for me, it'd kind of be the same thing as her. Yeah. It's my me time. It's bettering myself. I'd say the same thing, like she said got me through some it got me through some tough times and it i'll definitely say it was a character builder it changed me i'll say it to anybody who knows me when i walked into the gym house shout out to house of gains victoria and david the person i walked in is not the person that i am now and i think a lot of people would i think will say like oh gym rats are conceited or like the gym is their life like you it's kind of cliche but i don't think unless you've gone through that transformation yeah. within yourself within a gym you don't know what it what it feels like it's uh, not just about how much you lift how much you're able to push pull like it's about like how it changes yeah. your mentality and literally that will transfer to everything else in your life like could you say that the gym or the habits you build in the gym like kind of set a foundation for you building your brand oh for sure <laughs> yeah especially like learning like that i needed you know discipline you know because at first i was like oh well it's motivation you know that keeps me going it's like no like 
you lose motivation. You know, there's like points where it's like the motivation isn't there. So it's like the discipline is what keeps you going. That's like with everything, you know, like in life, you know. Yeah. I was actually I was just telling this uh, my dude the other day. I was like, bro, like it's not every day you're gonna wake up motivated. Yeah. If I tell you, do I'm twenty four seven motivation off the bat? Ni madres. <laughs> I wake up and I'm just like, fuck, bro, I'm tired. Like to, yesterday, no más porque lo buscamos nosotros. Three hour, we're on a bender, but we're we're here. Like there is no excuse on the responsibilities we have. But throughout the week, it's the same thing. Like, I may be up doing social media or whatever the case was. Maybe it was just a long day. Next day, I'm just like, damn, bro, like, I want to rest. And then I give myself those five minutes. I get myself in the car. I put my jam on. And I'm, I'm very emotional. So I could put Post Malone fucking sad ass on, and I'm just like, let's go. Or Nipsey Hussle, Victory Lab, let's rock. And by the time I get to where I'm getting to, I sat with myself for a bit. I remembered everything we've been we've been going through, what I went through last week to this week to today, and how you said, I'm not the same guy. I'm not that same motherfucker anymore. I'm different. Now I gotta go to work. Now it's time to build. But there's so many things that that happen throughout our life, throughout throughout the day. Just, not just life. It can be throughout a day where this shit just like, bro, maybe you didn't get orders out. Maybe no, like, no one ordered that day. It's like, damn, what happened today? Maybe the views didn't happen. Fuck, what happened today? So we're just like, all right, well, analyze it. What is a bad day for you look like? Mm, I would have to say probably when I, same thing, yeah, like around there, like, yeah. When I, like, post a TikTok or something, especially, like, on Full and I, like, get upset, you know, because, like, it's the same thing, the views, and I'm just like, oh, like, no one's watching it, you know? But then I feel like I just pull myself, like, out of that, and I'm just like, well, it doesn't matter, you know, because as long as, like, you get it out there, it's like, you know, those, like, 100 people that viewed it, still viewed it, you know, those are, it's still, like, reaching, you know, those 100 people. And, like, that's the thing, too, where it's, like, you know, rolls back to, like, views and, like, followers, like, it doesn't matter, you know, like, there's always going to be, like, people, you know, that, like, support you and all of that. And, like, so, like, you know, those are just numbers at the end of the day. You, yeah, that like, you believe numbers are just the numbers? Your message will get across no matter what? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the same, bro. <laughs> you guys are the same. Because the conversation we just had, and I'm very, I'm pushy. Like, for me, building like building us, us three here, for me, it's like, all right, I'm 26. I've seen people that have had all the talent in the world, but they give up so fast because shit got hard or they need to take a break. And then, oh, I'll go back to it. It's like, bro, if imagine we stop doing what we're doing. And and I tell me I'm lying. I told you, if we stop doing what we're doing and we don't post for like two, three weeks, we become irrelevant. Oh, you fell off. You gave up. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, we have the talent. We're so special. Individually, personally, I feel everybody is so special. Just the world has yet to see it. Maybe the 100 people saw it, but those 100,000 that are waiting are waiting to see how special we could be. But it sometimes it takes other people to tell you. And it's not even in your circle, actually. Because I could tell her something, and she's not going to listen to me, or she's going to hear me, but then a random is going to tell her. A <laughs> random. And, and the scenario that you put me, and we, we, talk, like, we talk pretty much almost every day, and whatever advice I gave her, it's with a kind heart and because I love her, her new coworker told her sim, like literally <laughs> same shit that I told her. Yeah, dude, that, that helped me so much. <laughs> I feel the shots being thrown. We're back. We're back and we better. We're back and ready to shoot some more shots. I'm just kidding. Oh, you. Nah. You're not ready for those. Where do we leave off? We were talking about how a stranger can tell us something else and it'll matter more than people who tell than us. In your own day. circle. Agree. Okay. Do you agree? Why do you agree? I, right. She knows. Way. Because I think, okay, let me just put my little, like, 
as to what I think. Sometimes you expect the people around you to tell you certain things. Okay. bad bunny in the room. It's too bright in here. What the? But back to um. I know that I'm probably not the only. I think it makes a difference when you hear it from someone random because you know that they're not telling you because they care about you or because they want to push you. You always know it's super, super just real. Like that night, Duno told me, like, damn, girl, what is she what doing? your thing. Doing that thing. homegirl was up there on the floor. She was on the floor getting the angles. And I was <laughs> like, it hits different when it's someone you don't expect it to come from. That's right. Yeah, I agree. What, what's something that somebody told you that you're like, damn? I heard this from somebody, but what you just... It happens all the time, because my boyfriend will, like, say something, and, like, I can't think of, like, a big one right now, but, like, no, I can't think of any, but just, like, something, like, he'll tell me, and then I'm just, like, I'll ignore him, and I'm just, like, okay, and then later, like, I'll hear it from, like, a stranger, like, someone will just comment, or, like, I'll see a video on it, or just anything, and yeah. then I'm just, like, did you know this, or, like, he's, like, Amy, like, I literally just told you that. And I'm just like, no, you didn't. And then, like, he was like, I did. Like, what? And I'm just like. Do you feel like yeah. we're going to do, like, a girl guy discussion right now? I got my guys right here. Let's do ready it. Ready to shoot shots. Dylan, you ready? Bad Bunny? <laughs> Dylan's so <laughs> anti, like, eh. But do you think guys only listen to what we want to listen to? Mm. Or is it the same thing for girls? I guess on the person. So for you two, right? You have your your love of your life right here. You know, heartbroken. You love yeah. heartbroken on that side. <laughs> um <laughs> when you guys have that discussion, argument, whatever you want to call it, do you guys walk away or we go at it? No, he doesn't let me walk away. Because I'm the type who I'll just, like, I'm, like, don't talk to me. And I'll be the one to want to walk away. And he's, like, we're fixing this. Like, I'm just, like, okay. <laughs> like, all right. I think that might be a girl thing. To walk away? To be, I don't think it's a walk away. I think it's a, maybe it's just, I feel like we're kind of, like, on the same, like, vibe a lot. Sometimes, at least for me, do you feel like you'll be better off if you just take, like, even, like, an hour or two to just be alone? Yeah, like sometimes I feel like you're so heated in the moment. It's like, oh shit. Yeah, like you just gotta like have time for yourself to like think and process everything, and then go back to like talking about it. I think I know why. I think it has to do. I think a lot of girls are really emotional, including myself. I feel like I'm an emotional person, and when I'm emotional, no, he's all, a poco, a poco, a poco, <laughs> see, <Many> guys, <laughs> never knew this. You start crying. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we're very emotional, and I know that if I'm at that peak, that like very high emotional peak. I need to settle down. Yeah. Because before I say anything I don't mean or before things come out the way I don't, ex like, want them to come out, like, let me gather myself, let me, and then I'll come back. Yeah. Is that, is that kind of, yeah, I no, don't see it as a walking away, but more like, let me step down and relax, and then I'll come back when I feel yeah. like. But, but that's, like, breaking, like, our generational, like, curses right there. Why? Because Mexican parents, cuando hay un pleito. Yeah. Whoever screams the loudest, gets the last word, wins. Y hazme de comer. <laughs> Make me food, whatever the case is. But I think that's why, like, for us, like, we're that that voyage, those pioneers on, like, hey, you know what, we got to take a break. Mm -hmm. Or we got to tone it down a little bit. Don't be at that high pitch and yeah. fucking voice cracking already. And I'm like, oh. Sometimes I think it is good to, like, walk away. Mm -hmm. Not not walk away. Take a step back. Take a step back. Take a breath. And then come back and talk about it. Then come back and talk about it. You... We may not agree, but at least you know where we come from, yeah. right? So for you, um, what was, like, your turn back moment, like your hardest moment you went through that made you question maybe life or what you were doing? And you were just like, damn. Like in anything? Oh, yeah. This is a water work one. <laughs> I'm like, probably, I mean, a lot of that comes with my dad. Like, he would kind of always just, like, put me down and, like, not really, like, support me in anything. So, you know, I feel like I kind of just had to, like, at first I would take that, you know, to heart and be like, well, like, you know, there's this guy who just, like, you know, I'm his daughter, but, like, he doesn't support me. He's always, you know, like, because I used to be overweight again, like, and he, you know, like, call me, like, gorda, like, you know, all this stuff. And, like, I feel like I just, like, one day, like, I had to be like, well, like, you know, like, fuck what he, like, says or thinks about me, you know, like, because this is, again, like, this is my life, like, this is, like, I want to do stuff, you know, that I want to do, 
So especially with the brand, like I didn't tell him about it because I was so afraid of like what like he was going to say or think, you know, and like my first thought was like, dang, like he's going to think like I'm going to give up on school, like I'm going to quit my jobs or something. And then like, you know, like our bond was never like the best, like so like now like growing up, like I guess like I kind of like understand him, you know, because I'm just like, yeah, you know, like your parents raised you the best way, like they thought you know they could and I feel like that's obviously what he did for us you know like raising us you know like you know raising his voice and all of that like that's what he thought you know was the best like parenting but like you know like I know he has his own you know trauma and everything and like yeah so you know at some point it's like I'm a forgiver so it's like I have to you know I kind of want to like I forgive him is that a girl thing too I don't think that's a girl thing. Is yeah, your dad no. is your dad Mexican? Yeah. Then is he was he born over there? Where are you yeah. guys from? I th- uh, my parents are from Guerrero. Yeah. Okay, okay. So back to that. I don't think it's a girl thing. Saying that we're Hispanic, would you say that that has you're first gen, right? So would you say that I think that's why we connect so much. We're both first gen. Yeah. I'm a first gen too. <laughs> would you say that your dad's like you've accepted that it's because of the Hispanic culture that is, like, starting to take a hard turn as, like, a first gen. Like, you say, like, it was the way they were born, like, the trauma. Like, when did you realize that it was because of the way they grew up? Like, when I started getting older, you know, because at first, like, I thought it was just me, you know. Like, I was like, well, like, I think, you know, he just, like. Don't like me. I never, like. Like, you're the punching bag of. Yeah. Like, I was like, I don't think he hates me, but I just. You know, like, something, I just do something that just bothers him all the time. And then, you know, like, growing up, you know, because, like, especially, like, my older brother, you know, like, he, like, like, he, like, I know he loves my dad, but, like, I know he just kind of, you know, stays in his own lane, you know. And I'm just like, well, what, like, because I know he probably caused more damage to him than he did to me. So just, like, looking at him, like, you know, I had to, like, think about it. Especially, like, it happened a lot over, like, quarantine, because, like, me and my dad, like, kind of, like, started bonding. And then, like... I said something, like, one day, and, like, that just set him on fire. Like, he started, like, yelling and everything. And I'm just like, like, dude, like, we were cool. Like, what happened? Yeah. And then that's when I, like, I kind of just, like, started, like, talking to Gio. You know, like, my boyfriend, I was like, well, like, I think I kind of just get it. You know, like, it's just, you know, like, his trauma, you know, that he just has. And, like, yeah, it goes back to that. Like, you know, looking at his parents, like, especially, like, when my dad hugs us, like, he won't give, like, a full-on hug. Like, more of, like, the love and, like, all of that we got from my mom, but my dad was always like, you know, a pat on the back, you know, and like not, not even a pat, just a big old fucking hand in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Como that. So I'm like, fucking guy. We got the dogs in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so with with everything happening with your movement, with life, what what do you feel is your purpose in life? I think it's hard. <laughs> That took a hard question. Dang, caught me off guard. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what my purpose is, but I do know, like, the direction I want to take my life in. So, of course, you know, like, with my brand, you know, like, hoping, you know, like, it blows up, and then I get to the point, you know, where... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the home. Emotional support. (laughs) (laughs) Where I can just have, you know, like my own brand and you know be like that'll be my own thing you know like that's my nine to five you know like I'm my own you know uh, what is that my own boss and like yeah. doing that and especially you know like my biggest thing is just always being you know to like support you know my parents you know like I want them you know just to get out of that like their own like you know jobs and like I want them you know to like rest and like live you know like their life you know like enjoy themselves you know like and help them in that way and, you know, just, like, everyone else, you know, like, my brothers, if they need help, you know, like, Gio's family, if they need help, all of that. You want to take care of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm big, like, on that. Like, I always tell my mom, like, I'm like, I'm going to buy you a big house, you know, like, whether you want it here, like, in Mexico, you know, well, I mean, they have houses in Mexico, but, like, you know, just, like, I just, especially, like, my mom, you know, like, I just want my mom to rest because my mom's just, like, she's, like, my biggest, you know, supporter, my best friend, like, I just want to give her the world. So it's, like, for her, you know, like, this I'm, brand, like... I'm sure your mom's going to listen to this, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> so because she's going to listen to this, what would you tell your mom? 
I'm going to cry if I say it. <laughs> um, okay, is it okay if I say it in Spanish? Okay. Uh, Ma, te quiero, <laughs> te quiero mucho. Muchas gracias por siempre apoyarme en todo. <laughs> si no fuera por ti, no hubiera pasado esto. <laughs> Tú eres la que me ayuda en todo y me apoyas. Y por ti pude hacer poder. Te quiero mucho. Y vas a ver que un día te va a comprar tu casa. Oh, oh my God. Our viral videos were... Our viral videos were crying. Dab, girl, dab. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was beautiful. I love that woman so much. Nah, honestly, like, to put... Just to put your emotions and feelings into words, it's tough. You know, everything we build up, like, to me... For me to tell someone how much I love, I can't really put the words in there because I'm the same. If I start telling you exactly, yeah, I start crying. like, uh, I don't think we've ever talked about it on camera or anything, but like in San Diego, right? And it happened with Dylan too. We're in San Diego. Um, the second night we were there, um, we literally, I think he went out to go get something downstairs. Jose went to, and then it was just me and Angela. Angela was doing something, and then I just put on a song, and I just started crying. And the song that I put on was because it was for me to remember, like, you know, my grandpa. And I was like, for me, it was like, oh, setting in because, it's like, damn, we're out here in a different city, and we're podcasting with the dude that we looked up to in the fitness industry. So I'm crying, and then she comes over. She's like, what? And then she started crying. Oh, and then, and then, then it just flipped. I was like, wait, why are you crying? Yeah. And then we're both just crying. And we just had a moment because we're like, yo, like, we got each other, bro. Like, yeah. we're doing something big. And because of each other and our team and our support system, we're here. But same thing with Dylan, even outside. We're just looking at the fucking stadium and we're just talking. So... I don't look at him in the eye when I'm telling him straight things. So, like, I wasn't looking at him, but I was just telling him, like, yo. And I told him how I felt. Like, I love you, bro. Without you, like, we wouldn't be here either. And I kind of turned and I see this. Like, I was like, fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this today. But because of certain people, our parents, whoever, whoever is listening, whoever you have that gave you that power to believe in yourself, to trust yourself, to, like, yo, whatever you want to do in your life, go for it. Yo, thank you. It could be your parents, but it could also be that some of us didn't have those parents. It could have been an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, your sister, your brother. So it's just like, thank you. You know what I mean? So now to you. To the person that made you who you are, has loved you unconditionally, right? Through your bad moments, the good moments. Your funny moments, dorking, yeah. everything. The I spend. I wouldn't oh. want to say that. I'm <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm, I'm, just <laughs> I'm trying to make it like, but get that mom throughout the pendejadas and supported you. What would you Oops. tell that? I would say thank you. Uh, I haven't had a lot of those people. I don't want to cry, <laughs> but they know who they are. They know exactly who they are, and I just want to say thank you. Because it changes a person to have someone like that in your life, especially when, when you make a lot of dumb decisions. <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm young. I'm making decisions, and I'm learning. And there's a couple of people who have stuck by my side no matter what, even if they knew that what I did was wrong. And I just I want them to know how much I appreciate them and how much, no matter what, I, they could always count on me, even if we're not talking at the moment or if, I go MIA or something, I will never, ever forget them. I will always be appreciate them. I love them. And I care a lot about them. And I, I don't think I could say anything more than, like, a really big thank you because I wouldn't be standing on my two feet if it wasn't for you. I like that for you. Yeah, I was okay. holding in tears right there. <laughs> what do you think for you personally was your biggest change to, like, your circle, and to live a happier life, besides the gym. I know you, the gym, it's, that's life. Yeah. But what changes personally did you have to make from where 
you were, say, in high school to where you are now. So I think from high school to where we're at now, like, we had some traits that maybe we were too caring, too loving, naive, or whatever the case is, into who we are now. They were just like, I can't let you walk all over me. Yeah. Um. So, you know, going back, like, on, you know, my dad, like, I feel like, you know, getting those, like, you know, have you seen those memes where it's, like, when you get, like, your dad's, like, bad jeans versus, like, your mom's? <laughs> so it's, like, I feel like I got a lot of that. And, like, you know, sometimes I would just, like, notice it, and I'd be like, wow, like, I can't be this way, you know, like, I can't, you know, get angry over, like, little things or, you know, be upset at people for so long. And, like, also, like, learning to let people go, you know. Like, sometimes certain, like, people or, like, friends in your life aren't meant to be in your life, you know. Like, a lot of them, you know, like, you may think that those people are rooting for you, but in reality, like, they're not, you know. Like, they're just waiting to see your downfall. And, you know, learning that, like, sometimes I feel like just a smaller circle is way better than, like, a bigger one. And, you know, learning that, you know, because I've had, like, past friendships where I'm just like, wow, like, I can't believe, you know, like, I was friends with you because I was really going a direction that, like, I didn't even want to go. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, like, learning, like, a lot of that, learning, like, to see who, like, your real friends are. So I feel like a lot of that. So would you say that it, the people who you surround yourself with or who, you know, you kind of keep in your life, have a really big impact on where you're going or, like, your personal life? Yeah. Mentally, physically, all of the above? For sure, yeah. Because I feel like, you know, like, that's true, you know, or it's, like, you if you surround yourself with, like, winners, you're going to be a winner. Like, I've seen, like, a tweet like that. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, like, you know, like, support yourself with, like, people who genuinely, you know, like, support you and, like, uplift you, you know, because, like, up to, like, now, like, I've never really had, you know, those people who, like, oh, like, yeah, like, I'm so proud of you, you know, like, you're doing your brand, or, like, doing this, you know, and, like, I feel like now, like, literally, it's, like, one friend, like, shout out Jana, you know, like, <laughs> a real one, you know, shout like, out. she's the one, you know, like, who's always with me, like, this morning, she was, like, good luck on the podcast, she's, like, I can't wait to see, like, when it comes out, like, you're gonna do so good, like, don't be nervous, you know, and, like, just having her by my side, having Gio, you know, like, because, like, it's just us three, basically, we're, like, the three best friends, like, you know. Anybody can have all <laughs> That song, bro, that song. What? You're going to say something. No, I was going to say what song. Uh, what is it from Hangover? Where he says, you're the three best friends yeah. that anybody can. <laughs> yeah. What um, is you to the sad one? So you said you've lost friends, right? Yeah. Talk about that Let's talk shit. about that. Let's talk about that. I like that. I like that. How have you experienced people who you thought were going to be in your life, your number one supporters, kind of like either – turn out to be people you didn't expect or they did something to you like how did that process go and how'd you how did you deal with it yeah so um you know you know I've lost like you know friends recently and like you know starting a brand it just it's crazy you know because you like people you know like always oh yeah I support you you know like whatever you do like I'm gonna be there and like it's crazy you know because people that like were in my circle were always like yeah, like, I'm going to support you, this and that. We're in, like, same thing, like, when my brand would come out, they'd be like, oh, like, congrats, you know, like, a little, <laughs> like, a congrats. And I'm just like, mm, okay, like, Talk your thanks. Shit. Yeah. And, like, it just, it, 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 they never wanted to see you win, you know, especially, like, I remember, like, when we had, like, season two drop, you know, like, I won't name any names, but, you know, like, the same person, you know, was like, oh, yeah, like, literally, because we work at the same place, so it's like, when they would come in, they'd be like, oh, like, saw that you dropped, like, a new season, like, congrats, like that. And I'm just like, dude, like, we're supposed to be best friends, and yet you waited till this moment, you know, to tell, me. to tell me. So it's, like, things like that where I'm just like, I don't need that, you know? Like, I don't need people like that, you know, like, in my life. Like, I'd rather just be alone, you know, than have, you know, like, Malas fucking vibras, you know, like, fuck that, you know? That's right. Como dicen, mejor sola que mala yeah. compañada. Yeah, I was trying to think of that. I was like, mejor sola que mala compañada. I was like, always, yeah. Um, so it's easier for you to let go of people now? Yes, for sure, yeah. Back then, like, I would always hold on to people, and I would chase people, too. So, like, as soon as, like, you know, I'd see them slip away, I'd be like, no, 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 no. Like, we're still friends or, you know, this and that. And, like, now I'm just like, you want to leave? Like, goodbye. Like, there's the door, like. Go away. Vaya bien. I know, I'm just like, bye. It's hard for people to, to let go of friends, right? It could be. Yeah. It's a little hard, <laughs> sorry. Little shot, little low blows here and there. Uh -huh. But that's why I tell a lot of people, like, bro, 
when you get to the point in your life where you see who is around you, what they're providing for you in terms of like energy and support compared to are they turning around and just saying something about me? You know, how you said earlier, people will support you out of out of love. When they really, really love you and care about you, they'll support you no matter what dumb idea you may have. They're going to support you. And then you have those that, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, season two? That's, damn, congrats. So would you say, I don't know if you're like a spiritual person or anything, but you can sense the energy from people when they like truly feel like proud of you or happy for you with, or whether they're kind of faking the fun? Yeah. You, I like, I feel like now I'm better, you know, because back then I'm just like, oh, like, yeah, they're my friends. Again, you know, it goes back to that where I just, I thought, you know, they were like supporting me and like wanted the best for me, but in reality they didn't. And like, yeah, like, I feel like now, like, I can tell, you know, where I'm just like, no, like, I get that vibe from you, you know, that you want to see me win, like, and I want to see you win, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, so yeah, like, keeping those people, like, you know, in my circle again, and like, those that aren't going to give me that support, and like, no, like, bye. It's because, dude, there, there is room for everybody to win, like, to eat, to triumph. Yeah. It's those selfish people that, nah, I don't want you, like, oh, you're doing good now? Nah, get out. Like, I don't want, I don't want to see you do better than me. There's a lot of things that people miss in themselves, in life, that because they're missing that, they want to put that on other people. And sometimes we get the shit in the stick. It is what it is. But we got to keep moving, just not moving in that direction with that person. Because I heard it yesterday. There is the sad truth that we don't figure out until a certain time. The sad truth is the people that come into our life come with an expiration date. Sometimes some longer than others, sometimes some sooner than others. But we we hate to see that, damn, this is a reality. There's people that have that time frame. It could be a year, two, three, four. It could be five, ten years. Their fucking time came. Whatever true colors came out, hey, yeah. there it is. That That's where... And it and it it gets to happen when shit hits the fan. When shit gets tough, you'll know who's around you. Stop. Oh well, sorry I haven't hit you up. Bro, get out of here. Honestly, <laughs> especially like now it's like literally like people just hit me all they're like, hey, like how you been? <laughs> like this and that, like congrats on your brand. And I'm just like I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm like, no, like get out of here. Can't walk in people back into our life after they leave. It's true. Do you believe that, though? I do. I do believe that. And you know I believe. Mm. Don't get mm. No. No, mm. we're not doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, I ask both of you guys this question. So, there's people, obviously, you know, do you wrong, whatever. Where do you set the line to give someone a second chance? I don't. No? Never? No. No, I'm super petty. Ah, uh, because I feel like you didn't give me a second chance. <laughs> what? Not, I think so. My fine line. I am. I won't let you back to where the position you were with me no more. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not gonna hate you. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna forgive you for me, not for you anymore. I'm gonna forgive you for me. The moment you decide to come back, you. I'm just not accessible the way I was already. So that means if you were here, something happened, you leave. Hey, I wish you the, do whatever you want with your life. You need something? Hmm. No, not gonna work. But I, hey, good luck to you. Hey, you want to come back? Mm, sorry, this is my circle. This is this is my. You can't touch this no more. So for me to give you a second chance, like, I don't care if it's friends or family. You did me wrong, bro. You, you can't go back no more. Yeah. Cause we're never gonna forget that, That's right? True. You do me dirty. I'm never gonna forget what you did. Like, it could be the grimiest stuff, right? And the next day, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Dab it up. Okay, cool, but now I know I can't trust you. It's like that saying. It's like you can forgive, but you can't forget. Yeah. Yeah, I never forget. It could be five years. Yeah. I'm still not forgetting. I'll be like. <laughs> You're like, you did that shit to me. Remember when 10 years old, you stole my hot Cheetos? No me querías hacer during recess. You didn't share your Lunchables with me? <laughs> Dude, you remember when you showed up with Lunchables, everybody thought you were cool? I was never a cool kid. 
Yeah. I know. I was like, I, I never like, got lunch. Wait, wait, wait. My mom would pack me the torta and the the sandwiches. <laughs> With little hot cheetos. Wait, yeah. Not even the bag of hot cheetos. It's it a little ziplock. Zip <laughs> Did you guys ever like ask your mom the day before a field trip all last minute? Mom, tengo que ir a la Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Y por qué no me diste? <laughs> Oh, I'm mad and all that at the Walmart. It's like five o'clock. Por qué no me dijiste temprano? Ahora tengo que hacer de comer antes de irme. Chica, cabrón. I'm just like, sorry. Ah, a tu papá. Dude, seriously, seriously. And then you go tell your dad and come back and then. Dude, with the frosted flames. <laughs> oh, that's just mom right now. You know, do that shit. You do that shit. Oh, no. At school? Yeah. Dylan was like, ah. It's because Dylan in high school was an athlete, fool. He was, he was a star. ¿Qué jugabas at Dylan? Soccer. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was a goalie. He did, he did that video on TikTok. He was like, te he hecho una reta. Te apuesto que no me la mete. Dylan would catch a lot of balls. You didn't catch a lot of balls. Wait, I have a question. So you say you're first gen, right? Wait, she didn't answer the other question. What question? About uh, the one that oh, I, I know, answered. She answered about she second chances. Second chances. Oh, I am I think I would be the same as you. Yeah, where it's like, you know, like I'm not going to forget it. But it's like, again, you know, like I'll forgive you. But yeah, like it'll be harder, you know, to come back into my life after that and like you said it's like you know you're not going to be welcome back into the circle like you can be an acquaintance you know like yeah maybe we'll hang out but you know letting you back in i thought about no. this the, actually yesterday because i was watching uh, another interview and what we're talking about right now maybe when we were good you had backstage passes to to my life right you're there vip once that happened, shit, go with the fucking birds and the nosebleeds. <laughs> hasta arriba. Don't. <laughs> you can still come in the circle, but hasta arriba. Back of the, off, Like, you know when you're in line? Mexican families, right? This, you're in line and, hey, pasale, todos. <laughs> I won't even turn. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, good, bro. Back of the lines over there. So that's me. But you're going back first, Jan. I was going to uh, go back to you were talking about school or whatever. No fui a la escuela, güey. No, I'm just kidding. That's okay. You're still making it out here. I'm just kidding. You see the positivity and then how you come at this? This is what I got to deal with, guys. Everybody listening to the podcast, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below your mean friend, what they tell you. Angela, she's a bully. A bully? Un bully. I'm a missing un bully in escuela. Going back to the situation. Being a first gen, where do you go to school? Uh, well, I used to go to Santiago Community College, and I'm like, this will be my first semester in Cal State Fullerton. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Uh, studious. Hella oh, studious. Hella studious. Hella I turned around. <laughs> I see this one. Hella studious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm all trying to get serious. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I was going to go back to, have you felt uncomfortable in the school, like, because... Being a first gen, you know, you grow up with your family, your cousins, whatever, and then you place yourself in a setting like that, and you're like, shit, like, it's it's different. It's something you, have you ever felt that moment where it's like, I don't, rec like, this is so unfamiliar, and you're like yeah. 20, 21 in the class, and you're like, I feel like even up to my last semester, there was times where I felt, I was like, I don't belong here, like, it's not something I'm used to, like, you're adjusting, so have you ever felt that moment? Like, how did you kind of, like, manage to be, like, I feel like growing up as a freshman, you experienced two different worlds. Yeah. No, yeah, like, because when I, you know, like, first, I remember getting out of, like, college, and I was like, how do I even do these applications, you know? Because my brother went, but, like, he dropped out, you know, like, he didn't want to do it anymore. He's just working now. So I didn't, like, I couldn't turn to him for help. So I had to do it all on my own, and I was like, how do I even do this, you know? And it was, like, scary, and it even, like, made me not even want to go to school. Like, when I first went to school, I was just going because I thought of it like, high school. You know, I was like, I'm just going to, you know, breeze on by. It's college. You know, like, I got this. I'm just going to get my degree now. And, like, no. Like, as soon as I got there, I'm like, I'm like um, oh, like, I have to actually study for all this. You know, like, I can't just be, like, trying to copy out here. Like, no. And so, like, especially, like, during, like, quarantine, like, I did, like, that whole thing where it's, like, you know, like, Quizlet and everything <laughs> so like doing it that and then like finally with like you know like Fullerton like you know like fast forwarding to like Fullerton like 
actually like had to sign up for FAFSA, you know, like doing all of that. So yeah, like right now, like I feel like I'm feeling it more than I did with community college. Yeah, for sure. You know, because I'm just like, wow, like I'm yeah. actually going to like a whole university. Like that's scary. Yeah, and you know? one, I didn't even last, bro. I went to, I went to two years community college, still didn't graduate. <laughs> <laughs> that's how studious. And my mom brought it up to my attention. I did the same fucking book report on the same fucking book from high school all the way to college. I've only read two books in my life. What book was it? Uh, a Child Called It and A Man Named Dave. A Child Called It is really good. So I, I read that one, and then uh, I think it's like the third book. But that's the only one I read from front to end. <laughs> and every time there was like a, oh, read a book and write a report on it, it was the same and fucking book. It means more. To the point where it's like, all I had to do was just change the title, change a couple words, and yeah. pass. Exactly. Think, smart. Para escuela. I think smarter, not harder. Oh, I would go wa- I would go to Chipotle during my last class. Chipotle. They were like, do you want to go to class today? Yeah, not really. Let's go. Wait, this is college or high school? College. High school? Mm, I can't even miss, bro. I lived down the street five minutes. <laughs> if I woke up, I've never woke up late to school until my, high, my senior year. And I would wake up, and my mom was like, yeah, I'll go right now. Um, I don't know. Because, like, I think when you get to, like, your senior year, you go through, like, all those changes of, all right, I want to go to a four-year. I'm going in. All my smart friends are going. And then you get those rejection letters, and you're just like, oh, Like, I mean, I... I, I <laughs> you get humbled out so quickly Bro, those like, I graduated with honors. I did, like, I was with the studious foods, like, gacho. Like, my best friend... He, at that time, was like, bro, he's Cambodian. This was, like, smart as a mother. He was a baller for basketball, but he was smart. And I was like, hey, bro, what'd you get? Hey, bro, let's compare. Hey, what was my answer? But I passed. Honors. I was all chaka with my little gold thing and whatever. I got humbled. Real quick. I got rejected from Cal State's, UC's. And there was one school I was going to go to. Uh, shout out to Laverne. I got promised, oh, you're going to make the team. You're going to come, like, y'all just send your transcripts. You're on the team. You'll be in the school. I was like, hell yeah, this is private. Like, you look good, going to look good. A week later, hey, bro, you didn't get in. <laughs> Dude, you get humbled down, huh? And then my dumb had never checked my emails, and I got accepted to Northridge, and I never, I never accepted it. Nah, this is why we check our emails. So here this I am. Why at, we check our emails. Here I am at fucking community college, all fucking. Oh, they pretty huh? <laughs> I could have been a lover. I could have. Well. No, but community college, I feel like we shouldn't look down upon it. Because like it's still. I, for sure. Yeah. I tell everybody, like, if you're going to go to school, you don't have to have it figured out, figured out. But, you know, have some sort of idea of plan. And don't get discouraged that you're at the bottom of a list of 10,000 people of you're getting shit classes and shit times. Because our parents, I mean, I don't, tell me if I'm wrong, our parents, no trabajes, ve la escuela. Yeah. Agarra tu educación, blah, 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 and then you start going to school and, hey, vas a trabajar, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you told me I didn't need to work, now I gotta work. I know, you'll be resting, they're like, no trabajas, pinche <laughs> huevón, and I'm just like, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Por, ¿Por qué no agarras un trabajo en la tarde? <laughs> it's like, what? But because I started working, and I made some good money, I quit. So it was their fault that I quit school. It, at 18, 20, bro, like, no, 18, 19, you're making, say, even 50 grand a year. No, mames. Yeah, que vas a ir a la escuela. Ah, <laughs> que necesito esa pobreza. <laughs> but life changes. We're not, the, we're not the same as when we were in elementary, junior high, high school, college, and now. We're not, we're not those same individuals. We may look different, you know, it's just our true colors came out. We are who we are. We live in our truth. You got to walk in your truth no matter what happens. People are going to like it. People may not like it. People may hate. People are going to love you. People are going to talk. My favorite phrase, I'm him. Whatever I am, whatever you think I am, I'm that person. I just know I walk in my truth every day. I smile, I talk my shit, talk my shit good because there's times where you feel depressed, sad, and we forget to remind ourselves, like, yo, you're a bad motherfucker. Like, you did this, get your ass up, you worked so hard for this, why give up now? 
don't give up. Get up, keep going, move forward, because the job is not done, right? Is there a quote or phrase that you live by? You remind you, like, you're having a shit day. That's depre. Depre la verga. No te quiero levantar. You don't, you don't want to talk to him. You don't want to yeah. talk to nobody. <laughs> you don't want to even be on social media. You're yeah. just like, but there's something that you tell yourself. What is it? I just tell myself I got to keep going. Like, no matter what, I just got to get up and keep it moving. Like, I can't, you know, just be laying here and being like, you know, in my feels, like, I got to get up. Shit's got to happen. I'm going to be the one, you know, to, like, do that. So it's like, again, you know, like, if you're just laying down, you know, not doing anything, it's like, that's, you know, your life, you know, you're wasting your own time. So it's like, you're the only one, you know, who can take control of your time. Yeah. Angela? <laughs> Mi amiga. Is it appropriate to say it? I've said it in front of you before. It's a Jenny Rivera quote. <laughs> <laughs> we love Jenny Rivera. Oh my God. Excuse my language. Should we play like Jenny Rivera on the, on the no, microphone right now? Yoro. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, do you like Jenny Rivera? Yeah. What's your favorite song? La Mariposa. Because I watched the series on Netflix. Oh my God, me that too. That shit was so good. I haven't finished it. Have you heard Chupa Amigos? Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, anyways, I'm going to say the quote. Don't judge me. See, now oh. I wish I could sing, because if I could sing... Turn this into karaoke real quick. Say no. it. I'm kidding, I won't, I won't. Lisa, por favor. Me siento como la Andrea Guzman. Soy una rockera. We were eating, bro, and we're all just like, we're recording, we're, we're about... You know that, that first video you got to take after you get your food for everybody to yeah. see? I'm recording everybody. I get to her. She's wearing her glasses. Me siento como la Ander Guzman. Soy una roquera. Dude, I was, vi- I was ready to eat. I was just vibing. I just, I didn't even notice he was recording. I, I don't know. What did, what did you say that I said it? Something like made me think of it. <laughs> you just felt like la Ander Guzman. I don't remember. You live a rock star lifestyle. What you The rock star lifestyle? <laughs> the rock star? Rock star lifestyle. Ragnar, for sure. I grew up with Hannah Montana. Making my way downtown. Walking back. Walking fast. Walk, I, no. Oh, my God. Cut it out. Cut it out. No, you got to sing a, what's, what's, your, what's a, what do you listen to? What's your playlist? What's your gym play? <laughs> wait, wait, what's your gym, yeah, what's your gym playlist look like? I like, pass me the phone. I'm just kidding. Give but, it up. Um, pass the ox. Um, like, I don't know if you've heard of Zero Wolf. Dear Wolf, such hot water boys. They're not such hot water boys anymore, but like Bones, like underground rap, Suicide Boys. Oh, Suicide Boys. I've heard of Suicide Boys. I think yeah. you, you can relate to You listen to both? What do you listen Zero to? Wolf? Say? Yeah, he got me into Suicide Boys, but I got him into Xavier Wolf and Bones. Okay, okay. So, uh. And Bad Bunny, of course. Oh, yeah. And then Wait. you gotta have the Cumbias. I didn't like Bad Bunny. Like, I was like, ah, dude, like, overhype. Then I started kicking with that guy. And this girl. And play some Bad Bunny. Dude, and now I know all the no, fucking dude, songs. Same. So no, because that was the same way. Because we, like, we went to San Diego, and that's how they were playing at the bar. And yeah. said, fuck it, let's all sing it. Bad Bunny took over the summer, dude. No, honestly. Yeah, because I didn't listen to him. And then, like, you know, like, his, like, concerts of his last concert, like, they would pop up. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, this looks Bro, fun. Did you, did you Bad Bunny? I did. Yeah. Yesterday at Pico, shout out Pico. Dude, they. Did you sing Titi Me Pregunto? They did. I recorded. I recorded. <laughs> yeah. And then they played Baby Shark. Baby. Yeah, like I swear everybody, well, like, I think the, like, age group from the time at the beginning was, like, 18, 19. Like, it's all a desmadre. Like, desmadre. Shout out all those motherfuckers. <laughs> like, they literally got a, like, the shortest phone. They were throwing them up. <laughs> there was, like, a kid that was, like, probably, like, 12, 14. On the shoulders, glasses, and just she fucking just vibing. vibing. And then they made like a, f- a full on cola, bro. Like all through it, jumping. Some guys without their shirts. Like they got the beer, started throwing it, water started. I was like, damn, bro, that was $20. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you doing? It's like that. <laughs> I was like, that water bottle was like $5. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, those drinks have pico. <laughs> they're, oh, they're bad. They weren't lying. They weren't lying. They weren't lying. Non-disclosure, bro. Two drinks was like 80 bucks. My guy is expensive. <laughs> no. All right. Wait, your quote. Your quote. 
I don't know if you've ever heard it. I know I've said it in front of you. Say it. And I excuse my language. You're going to bleep this out on TikTok. She goes, I've n- I'll never forget. Jenny said one time, si por pendeja me caigo, por chingona me levanto. Yeah. I swear, dude. I'll yell it to my... <laughs> yep. Love it. Shout out to Jenny Rivera, because she's keeping us going, dude. She's keeping us going. Dude, my grandpa was so messed up. Your grandpa? So have you guys been to Universal? To, like, the tram walk? The tram? Yeah. You know how they have World of the Worlds, um, and then there's an the airplane right there? <laughs> So no. we, were go- we were going, we got there, and my grandpa was like, what's going to Jenny? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. It wasn't me. This was my grandpa. Nah, grandpa's about to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, my, my, yeah, that was bad. But what can we expect from the upcoming movement self for that? Get excited for season four. And we've like we've had a lot of people asking like where are the gym shorts at all this and I'm just like they're coming they're coming so for sure you know like uh, especially like I'm excited you know just like to make like the brand grow more because like next year like February is gonna be our one year love it and so hopefully if all goes well you know like we get like our own warehouse and everything and I don't want to say oh. too much but something will go down you know in that warehouse. People are going to be invited, you know, like something. I just want to do something, you know, like that involves like everything, like especially like all like the Latino community, you know, like bringing all of that together. So just look forward to it. Ooh, yeah. We're excited. So close us out. What's a, something you can tell everybody watching? You. So if you're thinking, this is, you this, know, is a, this is a TikTok. OK, okay. it's going to be a TikTok. OK. okay. <laughs> so I just, I just want to let you know it's going to be there. OK. Get ready. Um, if you're thinking, you know, of starting your own brand or just, you know, anything in general, do it. Again, like, don't let that fear hold you back. Like, you know, you're never going to know if it's going to succeed if you don't try. So just, you know, just fucking do it. Like, trust me, like, take it from me. You know, like, I never thought, you know, like, I would be, you know, in this position. Sitting here, you know, getting invited to a podcast, like, being able to talk about, you know, like, my life, my brand. So just fucking do it. Like, you never know, you know, like, what it could happen. That's the fucking podcast today. Yes, sir.